Hello friends and hello students. My name is Ashok Sihala. In this session, we learn the form authentication in ASP.NET with C Sharp. So, first share my laptop screen and here fix the position so you can watch better way my video lecture. And here, Microsoft Visual Studio Web for Express Edition is 2012 edition is open and Connectivity website you know, folder is already open. In file menu, we can take new web form file. And here C sharp and web form file is there. And here we can take a form authentication, but we can take a login form. Yes, so login, uh, that is a, we can say that login form and dot ASPX. So that is a extension and here master page is selected, but we cannot, uh, take as a master page. So without master page, we can take normal page and that we can take designing in panel. So that ID, like we can take as a, our P1, then run at server side and that uh, group text, you can say that login form and then that uh, background color we have to provide is a pink and close the panel tag. And here we can take as a username, password, login form. So ID and particular uh, look user we can write then that is a get your one any previously request page. So first we can design of login page. So that is a form authentication we have to take in this session. So yes, LBL, and here is a UN username, run at server side, and then text of label user name, and close, and then text box, and that ID, TXT UN username, run at server side, and then close, and PR tag, and then copy, because that perfectly, and now we have to put here, that password so password and then here text mode property so password and then text that id is changed text box u uh, pw txt pw okay so and then we can take one button or two button yes so first is bt we can btn and that is a login so log yes and run at server side x we can say that uh, login yes and and font is bold true font size take a large and four color so dark select dark select yes i take above so you can watch here all are yes so dark flat yes now is coming blue and then close this button and then copy second button so now that is also we can that id chain so that uh, be tn and that is a cancel and here or you can also take ok and cancel but uh, here login okay so that perfectly let us check our design so yes login form is ready and here okay so login or you can say that submit or ok so yes, we can create one table for this and comparison username password. So yes, here in application data, that is a some table. So that is a here some database is there. Let us check in original folder. So in this PC and E drive and ASP.NET 2020 and uh, that is a connectivity and then application data and here that is all our SQL server database. 
so we can take access database you can also take as a sql server database but uh, here just test db is there so we can use this database and create new table in that database so let us open so test db is there and here we can go in create and design one table so here we can say that username you name and that is short text and you pass password so both are text and close this yes save yes and that is we can say that uh, uh, login user user login yes you login so okay and no primary key because all are text field and we can enter some data so here ram and password is ram then krishna and radhe and yes uh, yes that is two or three you can like uh, any like uh, mira and that password is a uh, test okay no problem so that is a three we have to provide the user so we can connect it in this uh, database and we can maintain the connection string in web.config file yes that is very important in this session so here we can first take tools and connect to database yes you have to know very well and here our database so that is a yes uh, but let us check in that where database is there so that e drive and 2020 and here that is directly yes in outside so test db test connection you succeed and advance button i click and go in home press and shift to end and control c copy and then i paste in web.config file so now i can use web.config file and here is that connection string yes that is a rules you cannot violate configuration is a root tag and config section is a first child tag before you cannot set anything you in here after here is a connection string already provided and here we can take as a add as a child tag and name that we can take x and connection string so copy and paste already we can take so that is a retrieval and now here we can take a uh, form authentication so here that uh, system dot web and here authorization yes authorization is uh, here is there so here authentication yes here is authentication and then we can take as a mode so first yes here we can check anywhere is a authentication is there or not so yes here is the author so both yes uh, authorization is already authentication mo mode is form and default that in 2012 that is login account and login dot that is not our authentication so here we can provide as a comment line that is default by provided in 2012 edition so here i that is a a comment line yes so that is a comment line from so that comment line we have to provide and here already provided for authentication mode form and now we can take form tag and that is first we can take logging url yes and that our logging form logging underscore form okay and dot aspx file and then you can take as a uh, default url also you can specify and then name yes so we can provide the name okay so that is a login any give the name and then we can take your timeout yes so request timeout 60 second so now i close that there are three 
attribute we can set login url name and default timeout and here authorization is there and here you can that already set here on allow and deny there are so i can cut this authorization and paste to exactly here so you can perfectly watch here authorization so authorization that is a authentication and that is co-related so authorization and authentication is co-related concept in asp.net without authentication we can so first process the authentication so who is authority like in uh, any student uh, fill up the in admission that college so that university grant that permission so first we can apply the process and that is a authentication so that grant the permission so your authentication like you can uh, register your any mail account so first you can register form and means fill up the form and then account you're open and then you can send the um, mail to any other person so that authority give to the uh, your mail is a verification so that is a authentication and authorization that is a base on the security in asp.net so now we can take here some that is two child tag allow and deny so allow we can take user and that our first round and deny yes here is a deny and then user we can uh, question mark or asterisk sign two wild cards so question mark so that is not any other user allowed so that form so first we can use that ram is only allowed here that and other any request that is a redirect to logging aspx form so that is only one allow user to hear that is authorization okay so that both we have to use and that is a form authentication we can apply and how to we can match to our username password so we can retry the web configuration to our connection string in coding part so here i go and logging page Yes, and full screen, and now we can start some coding. And first, we can take a system dot data dot oldb because we can take access database coding as a matching to our username password. And then we can retry the connection string from web dot config file. So using keyword, and we can take a, a system dot web dot configuration web configuration manager give the permission and then uh, yes first we can use only two after we can also take one so here we can take oldb that is a connection cm and oldb command cmd and then here we can start to page load or directly button you can and we can take one user defined method yes public and that we can use public void and check user that user is there or not in our database so check user or you can say that verify user so check user and okay so here we can start to our yes sir. here already we can take uh, connection string so here check user so yes i first take my screen to here so some network issue is there so now is complete we can take here as a string variable so yes string and then s1 so web configuration manager class is there so here we can take system dot web dot configuration package or we can say that namespace provide the web configuration manager class and then connection string yes so connection string s and then bracket we can give id so that is x we have to take in web config and then connection string not in that s is means so that is a uh, tag and that is a property attributes so your semicolon and then we can pass to our connection so that is a connected architecture and we can pass s1 connection string so that is same way any page what is the benefit you can take in the web config as a connection string so every page you can take this we are already uh, that second time some issue is that 
now perfectly work and here i can uh, explain so here we can take connection string in web.config file you can retrieve to anywhere to your uh, web website so any page you can retrieve this connection that is a benefit so if your database change you can just change in that uh, connection string all that follow page that retrieve is automatically changed so that is a benefit so we cannot uh, individual page to change our data any table or database change so we can only change in web config file okay so how to retrieve so here web configuration manager dot connections yes and here we can provide the x as a id name is a id in that connection string here that is a tag name and that is a attributes name so here you can look that is a uh, that our tag name and that is our attributes name so that is attributes name okay now we can start our coding and then command class yes and then provide the memory location and here we can take select star from you logging user logging and that the where where close so you name equal to at the rate you name and operator and you pass equal to at the rate you pass yes and then connection string so where is that value is here at the rate sign is a syntax so where this value is coming to our you name and you pass that is a field name and that is we can assign at the rate sign so yes here one member of the command class and that name is a parameter and that one method is add with value that is giving to our uh, value so at the rate you name that is our in double quotes and then we can take our text box id so text box first text and then command that is same parameter and that add with value and here we can take as a at the rate you password and then second text box that text so now we can compare okay so how compare so we can take as a object yes object is a super class and here we can take as a uh, object and then command class dot uh, we can take execute scalar yes here we can read not we can use read is a uh, reading the data execute none care is insert update delete but command class is very important other uh, method is there and execute scalar and that return data type is a object or super class to clear that return type is a object so we can take as a object and if here we can say that object yes or very object variable not equal to null so that we can say that here yes here we can return not void but boolean value so bool so that is we can pass as a true not equal to that meaning that is initialization that match so here we can use return keyword and semicolon and else if not equal to condition means false so that meaning that not initialized not checking properly or your username password is not match so here we can return the false so that is a meaning yes not equal to so equal to means uh, that is null equal to so that return false and not equal to null means that is database and your username password is available in the our table logging so you logging table so that is a return true not equal to null so that method we can use in that term, our logging button so here we can provide if condition and directly that is check yes uh, here check user that is our user defined method and here we can pass in if condition directly and then form authentication but that not appear i think because that is uh, form authentication not configuration is there authentication is not there so we can take one uh, namespace and that is 
using system dot uh, web dot security the security that is a base authentication and authorization is a co-related concept so authentication means uh, we can verify means uh, that a user writes or not so we can define that uh, process that is authentication and authority person that give the rights so like we can say that uh, level uh, user level admin level that is a rights provided by authentication and authorization is a process so that is a two base pillar of the security so that package in the security authentication so now we can use here in form authent just yes, now is i think appear form uh yes form authentication so yes where is that so yes i yes here is form authentication and one method is there redirect so redirect login form page that is a method in build so we can use here two arguments so first uh, we can pass <clears throat> to our username so that is a text box dot text that we can match and second is a uh, that is a create persistent cookie we can, means you can save your username password so that your pc that is persistent we can, when we can use in our account in like uh, mail any account yahoo or ready for any other user gmail so that time we can store our laptop to save your password yes so that is save so same way here we create persistent cookie that is save so here we can pass true so that is save our username password but we cannot save so false so that we can pass as a false so if uh, that username password is match so then uh, redirect our Uh, means that form is authentication so that is a previously request grant by this user so first we can run this page before we can run some other page so that form is not uh, runnable because that pass the authentication means uh, if user we can match username password so then and then this previously request grant to this user so let us take we cannot uh, run this first uh, login form automatically re redirect to any request form previously that is a that uh, login form authentication so we can take like uh, your student master means uh, master file include in this student in previously my demo master page in asp.net so we can open this student detail let us check how details is there so yes uh, that is role number and submit and that output is there so we can request this page but directly redirect to this login page so here our that login page display and may, we can username password is correct so then our previously request grant to this form so i can run this student detail form okay so i press f5 let us check what happened so that is a form authentication here we can request student m master page aspx but uh, you can see your our request grant not grant because that is a you, you can look in the uh, url so here that is we can request the student underscore mp master page student file but that is redirect to our login form because if username password is match then and then this uh, previously our student master page uh, form authentications so that is a form authentic so then and then our request is a grant so we can take yes our database ram yes and then sita ram so that is a password and here one i is there what your password so now i correct username password so our student form is open now so look that grant yes or any yes here what is there so execute scalar open enable connection yes here that is a connect database yes uh, so this connect database uh, we cannot open yes that error is properly because that connection is currently state is closed so we can open must be because that is a connected architecture so here we cannot open that is a right here we can open our connection that is must be otherwise that not checking to username password 
So our previous Leary class is not grant here. So I again, that is now perfect and control F5, that is perfectly. So if we use the disconnected architecture, that time we cannot open and close, but connected architecture, we can close and open to our cell that is connected. So we must be open. And then here also we can close our connection after that process. So yes, our connection can close also so here. So let us check that work or not. So now first I run this student page. Yes, so here student role number one are detailing print and that help of master page that all our background or layout is provided master page. So you can watch that master page. Yes, you are saying that uh, that not grant this page. And here percentage dot 2F, that is a meaning of slash. So here percentage 2F and return URL. Yes, that directly return to this. Uh, if you that login form username password is met then return URL. This is our return. Previously request is not grant. So now I correct from and sitaram so that connection is we must be open and yes look that is grant now or previously request is granting now any page you can request but first you can take your now i can take some data so here one then ram and then gender then standard just six mbca and hobby so i select and submit so that print, yes, so all are well here. There is no any issue. So that is a taking in my pre, uh, master page in ASP.NET. That time I take this form. So you can watch that window. Uh, so yes, uh, now we can take some, and what is cancel? So cancel, we can just uh, clear only, take as a blank, no any other process in the, Station. So yes, now all are well, and then we can take other users. So again, I request this page and run wrong username password. So what happened? Yes, so we cannot take proper username password. So you can look any request here. We can take the student form, but any form you can request previously that redirect to login form. So that is a form authentication in ASP.NET. So here I give the some different username password. So like uh, Mira, that is also in our, but I give the wrong password, anything and login. So that is not grant, yes. So that is a, what happens? Give the same form, redirect to whenever username password is wrong. So that not taking any action. And you can also print some message in else part, your username password is not match. So let us take, so that is our login page. And here, if that the verify is false, not checked properly. So else part, we can say that uh, uh, response dot right. So we can get some message, so we can idea. So yes, login is failed. Okay, so you your you can say that your username password is not match. So logging is paid. So that is, and now we cannot uh, use other form, not student form, any request of any form. So first uh, that pass yes here EMP info that is also take as a master page. So I uh, run this employee information form. So let us take that not run. That means redirect logging form directly. So yes, look, so here any form you can in this website that is redirect to direct like in Amazon or Flipkart, any website you can purchase to your item card. So whenever you add the card and then purchase, but you cannot log in. So that directly take the redirect to login page. So I mean, that is same process. That is a form authentication we can use. And now here I give the username Ram and then Sitara password. So that is a grant. So look, that is our uh, master page with, uh, and here that menu, yes, here menu is there. And default layout, that is a share by master page, employee detail and all our designing. 
in taking by the master page so that copyright message is there so that all are in the master page we have to take and here we can let us take that uh, i think perfectly work so yes also we can testing this form here department so previously we can take the student form now we can take as a master form so here that i think not print anything here that submit is re uh, required to some coding means only print in the label so yes any request you can take plus first redirect to yes also check some other form so here so many form is there so here like connected or connectivity demo is there so default all many so many demo is there disconnected all operation so we can run this page student also so let us take last we have to testing so any page you can request that is redirect and then we can give the perfect username so that is a form authentication so now that page is granting but uh, here some not uh, all our code is uh, some remaining so your connection string we can set in this form so student info is that not match so here we can open other form because that uh, form is a not completed coding in this form so that is not open so yes without coding because that database is not uh, so product detail is there some form is product detail and that is without means uh, no any connectivity so we can run this page yes so what happened let us take so now let us i run and give the proper username password and then login so now you can look so product detail is there so product that is skin file and all are applied to in this form so pen that is product name price so that is we can take in float also i think and quantity only five and tab key that amount is automatically calculated and submit so all detail is printed so that is a form product information so yes sir uh, now i can summarize what is we can do so here our login form yes so many page we can open so first i close the some form so yes our login form is here so that is very simple designing yes and that is very important coding uh, check user so where is a check user so that is a here uh, we can take connection string but first you can see namespace we have to provide system.data.olb system.data.web configuration and system.web.security uh, that is a giving the form authentication class and then only two class take to here connection and command and then user defined method check user that we can take and then return data type is a boolean bool. and web configuration manager dot connection strings that is our web and dev x in index double quote and then connection that attributes and that retry to s and we can pass to constructor and then open the connection and select from logging page where username and operator password both are match so parameter add with value we can check our username password in the text box and if that is a execute scalar that is a return object as a return data type so we can take obj and if username password is match so not equal to null so that condition is true and that return true and otherwise return false and here we can connection close so that redirectly means that username we can take here and other that not we can save so redirect logging page so directly logging page we can take and username password is match so then and then our previously request is run so all are setting in web config file so here first we can take connection string and then add tag name as a x and then copy and paste connection string to here connection string attributes and first setting in web configuration file and then authentication so here we can mode already form authentication by default is a here so many mode is yes here you can look here equal sign so form non passport that is microsoft company reservation uh, that service hotmail windows live that type of service that provided 
so we cannot use that is we can take some authentication process and then username password giving to us and then we can take some passport authentication mode use and window is by default authentication mode and new is a fed rate but you cannot use here form authentication we can take plus and form as a child tag and login url or login form name aspx and name is a login you can give any name here and request time of 60 and 60 second that major i think and then authorization that allow and deny to child tag allow we can give any username and deny we can uh, question mark so or you can also use asterisk sign so that is also possibility but uh, in list we can use question mark so here we can also change yes here i give the krishna now and let us check one time and now all our settings so authentication and authorization that is a based on the security in asp.net and here we can use the form authentication mode so i can now last time run this page so we can yes uh, our product detail i can run and we can use let us check i run so all our very simple coding is there so let us check that work or not so we can change our username so i give previously user i think that is also work i got that one time is grant in form authentication but uh, let us check so yes that work here we can change if Krishna, that, that is also work. And are they that password? So yes, login is failed. So means that is a, I think not uh, that user, I think we can change also, but uh, that I think my password is wrong. I can view so are there. So we can check, yes. Yes, now that perfectly, yes. So that previously not grant, but now that perfectly grant. So yes, so one time that form we can pass one user. So that uh, previously that take reference, but after we can close and restart our PC. So that is a uh, only one user in list that is a work. So that is I've already testing. So you can test yourself. So yes, uh, now I think I complete my session. So here we can very interesting. And here our student form, yes, you can look that very perfectly. I take the design help of master page so we can also open this page and so now i complete yes sir uh, any question any doubt for this definition so you can ask me so subscribe my channel ashok sijalakani press the bell icon to never miss any update thanks for your watching supporting and sharing my video lecture and yes uh, Hare krishna